Hello, my name's John Dorset, 38 years old. I um, want to show appreciation to to Anna Breeze for the for the campaign. Um, I think it's a really cool thing to do to uh, you know hear a variety of voices across the UK to uh, spread spread this idea that the the mainstream narrative that we're expected to buy into isn't widely accepted. Um, despite the premise of the narrative being that this is somehow, you know, a consensus that, you know, we all need to muzzle up and accept the new normal, when in reality, more and more people, presumably, more and more people are seeing through the, uh, through the lies, um, and they've had enough. Um, but as long as the masses are more compliant than the minority, then... We're in an unfortunate position, um, and that is why I um, will not acquiesce to this mask thing, despite the fact that I can't breathe when I'm wearing one. I refuse to be um, put in a position where I'm, I'm told and forced to wear one. It's, you know, it's, it's not right, you know. But from the beginning, the whole virus situation you know granted there is a virus I'm, I'm not going to be denying that the virus exists or any of that nonsense but we've seen the data now we've seen the statistics we've seen the graph where the graph is basically flatlined single digit deaths across the entire of the UK at the point the mandatory ma uh, masks come in you know it's it's nonsense it's completely ridiculous you know we're now at a situation where we should be basically reverting to the idea that should have been there from day one, which is segregate those with comorbidities, potential, you know, weak immune systems, look after those people, you know, self-isolate, make sure they're, you know, getting good supplements, good diet and whatnot, plenty of sun, vitamin D. Make sure those people are looked after. The rest of us, it's your choice, it's your decision. How you act, what you do, how you behave, what you wear. No government should be telling us to wear a muzzle on our face. No government should be, you know, making vaccines mandatory, which is coming down the line. That whole discussion is coming. It's obvious. So, it should have been that way from day one. You know, protect the vulnerable, the rest of us, get on with your lives, because you know what? We don't need to crush the economy. We don't need to, you know, wipe out the middle class, force people into job losses, destroy the economy and our children's future. There was no there was clearly no need for that. And that that's gonna be established more and more as we as we move forward. But unfortunately we've got a government and any government in this position is required to save face. They're not going to suddenly come out and go, sorry, we've made a mistake, let's reopen everything, blah, blah, blah. No, they're all perpetuating the new normal. They're all doubling down on, on the narrative. Every alternative opinion is generally being censored or deleted, despite the fact that the rising amount of people are, are not buying into it. And it disappoints me when I, you know, walk around the supermarket and I'm the only one without a mask on and I'm willing to have a conversation with these people if they weren't like swerving around me and looking at me like I was a, a carrier of the plague um, and I get it, I feel for people who are, who are in fear um, because that's a state that's been then forced on them it's all down to where you source your information and and media and stuff and you know the alternative thought, the discussion that we should be having, the balanced discussion, is not being allowed to be had. And that's been the case for a long time, and that's that's the way it is, but it's also very telling, you know, if, if someone wants to censor very specific opinions and narratives, and it's coming from the top, it's coming from big tech, you know, 
those subjects that are censored are the ones I'm most interested in hearing because there's a reason why why they're being censored I mean if it's outright wrong then you know we've still got a right to hear it and disseminate it and discuss it and condemn it if it's if it's ridiculous but we shouldn't we shouldn't be in a position where credible people in their profession are being silenced this is insanity you know so i appreciate people like anna breeze who who uh, are on board with that idea uh, and wants to allow people to have their voices heard and um yeah keep it going <laughs>